Welcome to ECCB Connects. The Eastern Caribbean Central Bank is celebrating 39 years of dedicated service to you, the people of the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union. To mark this momentous occasion, we focus on how the bank has demonstrated its commitment to the region over the years. Stay connected, we'll share more with you after this message. When the ECCB took the bold step to introduce Dcash, the people of the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union were at the heart of this decision. It's about creating opportunities. It's about connecting family. It's about linking friends. It's about changing the way we do business. It's about transforming lives. A journey to a place where none have gone before will not be without its challenges. But challenges will not deter us from our goal. It's about me. It's about you. It's about all of us. So join us and let's make history together. Welcome back. 39th anniversary ECCB. Established on 1st October 1983, the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank is the monetary authority for the eight island economies of Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda, the Commonwealth of Dominica, Grenada, Montserrat, St. Christopher and Nevis, St. Lucia and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Over the years, the work of the ECCB has expanded in keeping with its functions of maintaining the strength of the EC dollar, the stability of the banking system, and the well-being of the people of the ECCU. New programs, policies, and initiatives now comprise the bank's agenda to impact the lives of the people of the ECCU in a real way. The financial health and wellness of you, the people of the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union, is high on the ECCB's priority list as it works to create a financially developed and vibrant ECCU. Financial Information Month This annual financial education campaign is spearheaded by the ECCB in partnership with ECCU governments, financial and academic institutions, the media, other private and public sector institutions, and community groups. The ECCB works to improve the financial competence of adults across the region. Since 2003, through its savings and investment courses, hundreds of adults have been armed with the basics on financial management, budgeting, saving, and investing. Small business workshops and entrepreneurship courses are also convened to provide support to entrepreneurs. True to its motto, transforming the ECCU through innovation and collective action, the bank has taken a hands-on approach to help promote innovation across the region. Since 2017, the ECCB has been an official sponsor of the Student Program for Innovation in Science and Engineering, SPICE. Through this sponsorship, the ECCB has facilitated the participation of secondary school students from ECCB member countries in the program. SPICE aims to increase the low numbers of students pursuing advanced degrees in the areas of science, technology, engineering, and math. The bank further solidified its commitment to technological innovation when it established the ECCB Bright Sparks program in 2018. The annual internship program at the ECCB targets students from the ECCB member countries who wish to pursue studies in the field of IT at the tertiary level. Bright Sparks get the chance to gain experience in a real working environment, while the ECCB benefits from the talent and expertise of these budding professionals. Several Bright Sparks have gone on to become permanent members of the ECCB staff following their internship. Sports is another area through which the ECCB has demonstrated its commitment to the region. 
The bank has been a major supporter of netball in the ECCU for over 30 years. In 1991, the ECCB made a commitment to sponsor the OECS ECCB Under-23 Netball Competition as one of its community outreach programs. The competition was upgraded in June 2019 to the OECS ECCB International Netball Series and continues to provide an avenue for the region's young women to develop socially and physically. Financial inclusion, innovation, and empowerment are other avenues through which the ECCB pursues its transformational agenda. One example of this innovation is the development of the digital version of the EC dollar, the award-winning Dcash, which provides a safer, faster, and a cheaper means for persons to send, receive, and pay with EC dollars, particularly for the on- and underbanked. The ECCB also continues to advocate for the people of the region to invest. Do you know, in the United States, one in two U.S. citizens are invested in the U.S. stock market, the stock exchange? One in two. Actually, it's closer to 58% now. One in two. Do you know what that number is in the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union? 4%. So you see how much work we have to do. In the U.S., it's 58%. In our region, it's 4%. Why, why am I making this point? I'm making this point, and I know Mr. Martin, as the deputy chair, will appreciate the point. We need to see more of our people invest in the stock market, regional and international. And yes, I know right now the stock market is turbulent. It will settle. You have to think long. And therefore, we need to see more of our people invest in securities. So you want to know more about this investing thing I just mentioned? Check out the Home Mortgage Bank website, echmb.com. Check out the ecscconline.com. You can find more information there. Thirty-nine years of service to the people of the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union. The ECCB family, including the Honorable Prime Minister of St. Christopher and Nevis and ECCB Monetary Council member, Dr. Terence Strew, celebrated this milestone with a church service at the Pentecostal Church of God in St. Kitts. I want to really take this opportunity to congratulate the ECCB on its 39th anniversary. And as was said by the governor, is that we take the stability of the ECCB and the currency that we enjoy sometimes for granted. And I want us to recognize that here in the Caribbean and the sub-region of the OECS, that we would have really put a currency together, a regional currency that would have become almost a standard that others will look at and admire. I want us to recognize that the EC currency was, of course, there before you had a euro. And when I said that, somebody said to me that those who really pursued the euro would have consulted with this little region called the OECS for a direction in which to get it done. Put your hands together for yourselves and for your people. That shows that we have a lot to contribute to the world, irrespective of our small relative size.
And now for this week's financial tip. Stop comparing yourself financially with others. Each individual has different priorities and paths to reaching their goals. Stop comparing yourself with others in terms of where you are financially. People portray their best paths publicly, especially on social media. So don't compare yourself with your friends and acquaintances. We've come to the end of this episode of ECCB Connects. On this program, we commemorated the ECCB's 39 years of dedicated service to you, the people of the ECCU, by focusing on the bank's commitment in the area of sports, technology, financial education, and innovation. The ECCB looks forward to many more years of service to the region. Thanks for watching, and be sure to join us next week for another program when we share with you who we are, what we do, and how we serve you.